Okay, now that we've installed the WP YouTube plugin, we need to configure it and figure out how to set it up. To do that, there are instructions on the website that we downloaded it from. This is the nice thing about tabs, is you can have everything up here in one tab and you don't have to have it down cluttered down here. To switch between tabs, just a side note, if you press Control tab, it'll switch between the different tabs, kind of like Alt tab will switch between different programs. Now let's read the instructions. I'm on the WP YouTube 2 site and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where it says install and it says upload the folder WP YouTube. That's what we just did using the, the C panel. Now it's a lot easier if you do use a uh, an FTP client and do that way. Um, but for right now we have it uploaded and it says activate the plugin WP YouTube through the plugins menu in the admin. So let's just go ahead and go back. Here's the plugins menu. And then to activate it, you should scroll down. Looks like it's already, looks like it's inactive. To activate it, you click on activate. That'll change the status to active. Okay, so we've done that. Let's go back and check the next step. Now it says go to manage slash YouTube profiles for more instructions. Okay, so to do that, let's go back to here. Let's go to manage YouTube profiles. And it says click create new profile to get started or read the instructions. So here are the instructions on what to do. And it says basically you're going to create a new profile um, and it's going to allow you to bring in YouTube. So it says set a tag name. If you create more than one profile, uh, it must be unique. Find a YouTube ID and the ID is the number after the equal sign. Uh, it's like that. And it says put a post in your page and that gives you the example. Now what I'm going to do since I've used the other theme, I need to follow the instructions from this, from the videographer theme as well. So let's just go ahead and see what it says. And it says you need Jen Tornell's WP YouTube plugin. So we did that and it says activate the plugin. Great, we've already done that. And it says in your WordPress admin panel, go to manage YouTube profiles. That's the page we were on. It says create a profile with the tag name video and set the video width to 500 and the height to 418 and then check valid XHTML and save your profile. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so to do that, what we need to do is go back to YouTube profiles. We're here and we're going to create a new profile and we need to give it the tag name. Right here it says tag name. We need to give it the specific tag name of video. And I'm following the instructions from the videographer website. You can print those out so that you have them. I'm going to go ahead and type in 500 by 418, 418, and then it says to check off valid XHTML, and then it says, says to save the profile. Okay, so we should have a profile ready. Uh, let's see. Okay, now that we've done that, we've saved it. Let's check out the instructions. And they say create a page called archives and post a slug archives and apply the XHTML sitemap template to the page. This will give the top navigation link categories a destination. So let's just go ahead and go back and see how to do that. So let's go ahead and go up to right. Page. Let me just check the settings real quick to make sure we have our settings correct. It's asking if I want to navigate where well, I haven't changed anything, so that's okay. So underneath the settings tab, if we click on permalinks,
I like to make sure to set this so that it says custom structure. Actually, I'm just going to keep it month and name. Uh, no, I'm going to delete all this. Okay. Edit up the last minute and a half. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and write a page. To do that, you click on Write, and then you click on Page. And what we're going to do, according to the instructions, says create a page called Archives. So let's just go ahead and call this Archives. And then it says apply the XHTML sitemap to this. So to do that, down here, there's a page template. We select on it. It says default template, and there's one already created, XHTML sitemap. We go ahead and we select that. Let's go ahead and save this. And publish it. And what that does is it creates a page for this categories to work. Now right now it says the request URL WordPress archives was not found on this server. So what we've done is we've created this and we follow the steps to the instructions but the instructions were assuming something else. So let's just go ahead and go back here. We're going to go to, in order to make it so that that link does work, the categories links, what we need to do is go to settings, and then we need to click on permalinks. Now what this is, is it creates links to our website. And I recommend doing this because it'll help your website become more optimized, especially if you name your links different things that are related to what your content is. That will help you become more visible in search engines. What I like to do, there's different options here. Default is it just has this link, question mark P equals 123, you know, that's just numbers. Or you can have it be whatever your sample post is. You can see down here underneath custom structure, you can actually put in what you want it to be. And I'm going to delete out everything except for the percentage post name. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that out, keep it a custom structure, and what this will do is it'll put in a uh, post up there, and you can see the other options here as well. You have these different things, but I'm just going to go ahead, and I think I actually have to delete it on that side. I could be wrong, so I'm just going to save that page. Save changes. Now let's visit the site and see if it works. Now before we clicked on categories, the whole page wasn't found. Let's click on categories. Now it says this page isn't found, but this is created inside the page. So this is the page. The whole page is found. We just don't have any videos uploaded yet. So once we get videos uploaded, you'll be able to see how this uh, works. So let's just go ahead and go back. We did a good job of getting that set up. So now we have everything set up and ready to go. We just need to put in our videos. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to put in some YouTube videos.